So in order to install Pro Drums, you're going to want to open up the DMG file that you got when you purchased. Uh, and in here, you will see the user guide that goes through all of the functions of the plugin and using it and all of that. Uh, you'll also get this readme. So if you haven't installed this before, you'll probably get this prompt uh, that says uh, something like this. And you'll have this big OK. What you're going to want to do is right click on the installer and click open. Uh, and then it will pop up a file that looks like this and you just click open uh, and then you'll get into the installer. So uh, what you're going to want to do is just click on here, the little icon, and you'll get this little prompt that we are all used to seeing. Hit continue, uh, go through and read the, the EULA, some good stuff in there. Hit agree. Uh, now, here's uh, one thing that's really cool. Now, you can choose to install everything that comes with Pro Drums, and I'm not talking about the samples. I'm talking about, like, the actual installers. Some of us use multiple DAWs like Logic, Ableton, um, Studio One that have different types types of uh, installers, maybe you only use Studio One. So in that case, you really don't need the uh, AU version. Um, you probably just need the VST3 version, quite honestly. Uh, it just depends on what DAW you use, but uh, to keep it simple, you can go with the standard install. It'll install them everywhere, which is recommended if you use multiple DAWs. If you don't, then you can choose to install which version uh, you want to install. So once you've done that, you're going to hit, uh, and you can also choose to change the install location, which I don't recommend doing that. Just install it on the uh, hard drive. Hit install. Uh, now, if you have a DAW open, like I have logic open, you're going to want to close it uh, before you install. So I can hit close application uh, and hit install software. So once you've closed the application, you're going to hit install and then you'd enter in that amazing password. Hold on one second here. Let's get that in there. And then it's going to go through and install it. So when you open Pro Drums for the first time, you're going to be prompted to uh, add the samples. It's going to say, can I find any instruments? So what you're going to want to do is go to choose folder. Uh, and you're going to want to get that folder that you downloaded uh, after purchase with the samples. And you're going to take that and, you know, we can just drag this in here to the finder window because I had it in my downloads. Uh, and then you'll see the different kits and stuff here. All you got to do is just click on Pro Drum Sample and hit OK. So once you've located the samples, then you will be prompted to enter in the serial number. It's going to tell you that the serial number is invalid. It's not. It's just you just don't have a serial number. So this is where you want to paste the serial number that you received uh, in your email. So if you didn't receive a serial number in your email, then you should check your spam. And once you've entered in the serial number, everything uh, will show up and you will be ready to go and use Pro Drums. 